she was a huge star. She was 17. All of a sudden, this rock and roll fantasy turns into a nightmare. The headline was we do lesbian love. <laughs> Behind the music, all new episodes. We didn't think it would ever grow to the level that it did. It just went out of control. I mean, it started off pretty slowly, and then one day, just like out of nowhere, <laughs> you know, we always felt like we had a, uh, a good thing going, but honestly, no one could have predicted this. From humble beginnings, singing at L stations and bus stops, to breakthrough in the pop world, and landing a coveted performance on the NBC hit. The sing-off, they took the boy band world by storm. Oh, the band name, please. That completely solidified who we were at that time in our lives. The name made all the difference. It was the name. The name of the band, I mean, it was unforgettable. This fall, VH1 is proud to present the true story of Three The Limit. A lot of groups, they just go to the limit. Uh, but for us, it was important to go Three the limit. So you've heard of taking it to the limit, to the limit. So we go three the limit, right? So we're past the limit, which is two, we're at three. So you can't really go past, past the limit. We're past it, which is the limit. And the band name, I'm sure the other guys totally agree. All my idea. Oh, the band name was my idea. Yeah, I came up with that. 100% me, totally my idea. They all love it. I don't know what they're telling you, uh, because I worked with those guys a lot, so I know those, yeah, 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 you know what I mean? But the band name, all me, 100% me, nobody but me. I remember the moment it happened. I was sitting on the toilet and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm two, I'm doing a two, but we're three. You know what I'm saying? No stone will be left unturned. No questions will be left unanswered. No limit will be left un... Limited? Who wrote this? I mean, look, it's been a journey. Obviously, now we've all gone our separate ways. The breakup was all Chris. You know, he thought he could go solo, and he also thought he didn't need us, the group. We are the group. He started just going rogue. Like, he started going on his own. He started taking meetings. He started writing songs without us. I mean, he's one guy, right, Chris? You're one voice. How are you going to sing three-part harmony with one voice? And, you know, he got too big for his britches. Is it... Is it Bridges or is it Britches? No, I think it's Britches. He got too big for his Britches. Yeah, they're not lying. No, it's true. I mean, look, a company approaches you and that company says that they want you to create a jingle uh, for their website and you're gonna do that, especially when that website is askjeeves.com. And every time somebody searches on askjeeves.com, they hear that jingle. At that time, nobody could have seen a competitor coming and owning the space. They were Ask Jeeves. They owned the internet at that point. I mean, there was no company that was ever gonna compete with AskJeeves.com. Well, um, Google, literally Google. Seriously, you can just Google it. Google, it's a fucking verb. Don't miss the never before told true story of Three The Limit, coming this fall to the VH1 affiliate, VBTV. Jesus, another streaming service? Give me a break. Oh, that's it, we're done? You sure you don't want to talk about whipping the caffeine addiction? Yeah, all right, we'll save that one for MTV VH1.